Hi, I'm Nikki, founder of Intracell Research Group. We spend a lot of time talking about the correlation between infection and some of our most serious diseases that we face in humanity. One of the things that we're really focused on is the relationship between various bacteria and viruses and the onset and progression of Alzheimer's disease. We feel that the research that's been accumulating for over 20 years is incredibly compelling and that uh, because there has been focus on several different pathogens, that innovation should follow. Essentially, right now, uh, chlamydia pneumoniae, spirochetes like Borrelia or Lyme disease, and herpes simplex virus 1 have been studied so extensively in terms of their relationship to Alzheimer's disease that it really makes sense to design a clinical trial addressing these organisms using generic medications like antibiotics and antiviral agents to see if we can intervene early in, let's say, a patient with uh, the beginning stages of dementia, and if we can stop the disease. And essentially, various clues support our thought process. The biggest one, really, is that amyloid beta has been identified as a antibacterial and antiviral substance. So to date, therapies that have come to market to treat Alzheimer's disease don't work. And it's been shown repeatedly that when you simply remove amyloid beta, that patients don't get better and the disease progression isn't stopped. So what we are suggesting is that with this body of research and the fact that there are hundreds of papers that have been published in peer-reviewed journals, that we truly take a look at some of our available therapies to address this incredibly pressing health concern. And now looking to the future, um, which is what I do a lot here with Intracell Research Group, antibiotics and antivirals are probably not a long-term answer to this. However, until we acknowledge the role that infection plays by doing trials with what we currently have available in the way of therapeutics, we won't have innovation to this end. And what we really need is the medical community and the scientific community to start coming to market with solutions to address various chronic infections, especially if we can prove that uh, infection is playing a role in a subset of patients that are experiencing these diseases. If you'd like to access the research that I'm talking about, please visit us at www.intracellresearchgroup.com. Thank you.